Hey everyone, Eric here. In this video, I wanna take you on a quick tour of a product photo setup that I'm doing. My friend Jason from Fuzzlord has just built a new amp and he wants a product photo for it. So I've got everything set up. So I'm gonna take you on a tour and explain a little bit of why I set things up the way I do. So first, here's the amp. I've got it set on my katana, which is sideways, just to elevate it up in the air. You'll notice that the background is a black sheet. I've got a black sheet draped over a couple, a couple mic stands, so we just have a black background instead of all the busyness that is in the normal background, like my pedal shelf up there. If we move on to the lighting setup, over here we have one key light, kind of angled that way, up a little bit. Over here, we have a little fill light. Essentially, both of these are key lights right now, meaning they're both equally bright on the subject, which is the amp. And then if we peek over there, we've got a little LED panel that's giving the side of the amp a little blue glow. And this is what it looks like on my camera screen, which is looking pretty good. It's a straight on shot. I'll probably do it at an angle too, so I'll probably move the camera over that way and get like a, you know, three quarters angle on the amp. But right now that's looking pretty good. So I've got my ISO set as low as possible to minimize the noise, the electronic noise that you get in photos. We've got an F8 aperture because I want as much to be in focus as possible. The lower the aperture, the wider open you get your lens, the less is in focus. So I want it, I want this whole amp to be in focus, so I turn it up to an f8. We're using 35 millimeters on my wide angle, and then we're at one third of a second shutter speed. And I can go that high, I can I can set my shutter speed that long because I'm on a tripod and I won't be moving the camera. So the shutter speed can be, you know, as long as I want, really but I'm, I'm choosing to have a longer shutter speed and a lower ISO over having a higher ISO and then a faster shutter speed. I hope that makes sense. If you wanna see more videos on photography, let me know in the comments below. One more thing that I do in these shots is because since it's a longer shutter speed, I don't want the camera to move at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring up my drive mode settings. I'm gonna go down here to the self timer mode 10 seconds is fine, but I, I usually just do two. And what that does is, what the timer mode does is when I hit the shutter speed over here, it's gonna wait two seconds and then fire the shot. And what that does is it lets my vibration of actually, you know, touching the shutter, everything's still when it takes the photo, you know? So it's, there's a little delay between when I press the shutter and when it takes the photo. And that is the setup for this product photo shoot right here. I hope you like this tour of the product photography setup I have going on right here for this amp. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. And if you did like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Check out all the other gear demos and instructional videos I have here. And if you wanna follow me on a daily basis and interact with me a little bit more, you can always head on over to Instagram and follow me at Eric Merrow. Before I get out of here, I wanna send a huge thank you to these folks right over here who are my executive producers for my Patreon page. I really appreciate all the support and I cannot thank you enough. If you'd like to learn more about Patreon, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. So thank you so much for the support. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good one. I hope you stay safe and I will see you in the next video.